Keywords Everywhere is an SEO tool that a lot of people use for search engine op optimization. And it used to be free about a year ago. Um, they changed the rules where you could buy credits. And I'm going to explain to you what that means. But just recently, they changed the rule again. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of this, especially if you've bought credits, because it's going to affect you. But before we start, I want to explain what the tool is, what it does and how you can use it. And then I'll share with you that new rule or that new policy that they put into place that you definitely want to be aware of. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put a video out every Tuesday, every Friday, and I teach you how you can turn your passion into profit using YouTube and adding affiliate marketing to your YouTube channel to increase your income streams. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And I want to explain to you exactly what keywords everywhere is and what how to use it and then i'm going to show the new policy at the end of the video make sure you stick around for that before we get started i want you to be aware of two terms cpc which means the cost per click the amount advertisers are paying for a single click to use a keyword in google adwords okay so cpc is cost per click you want the cost per click to be low when you're using this tool as you look at that one analytic, you want to make sure the CPC is as low as possible. A second term that you need to understand is competition. This is a gauge of the number of advertisers that are running ads on Google AdWords for the specific keyword. So the lower that competition is, the better. So you want your CPC and your competition to be as low as possible. Now we're going to be looking at two other things. We're going to be looking at volume and we're going to be looking at trends. All right, let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's do a search and we're going to use keywords everywhere. I've already got keywords explorer, uh, Chrome extension on my laptop, and I have typed in a search. I have typed in how to invest a thousand dollars. I was just trying to use different terms and I want to show you how I can analyze them. First of all, I'm looking at the volume. There are 1600 searches per month. The CPC is $3.15, so that's $3.15 an advertiser has to pay every time there is a click for that keyword. And then the competition is 0.13, which is low. Um, the competition is on a scale of zero to one. The closer you are to zero, the better. The closer you are to one, the higher. That means there's an extreme amount of competition. And if you're a new channel, especially if you're small or small channel, you definitely don't want to try to throw yourself in that big pond with all the fit, big fish, right? You want to be in the, the big pond um, with all the little fish, not the big fish. Now, this is the other thing that has been added. It's trending. This shows you with the chart how this term is trending with search volume. So let's go over here and look to the right. I have my uh, keywords everywhere turned on. If you notice this little icon up here, I can turn it on and turn it off. And that's very important to know because when you purchase, let me open it. <clears throat> when you purchase credits, they are listed right here. If you have it turned on, your credits are being used up, even if you're searching for other things that are, are non-work related. Um, so you don't want to be using your credits if you're not working, if that makes sense. So you want to just click this button right here and that turns it off and you can turn it on. Now we're going to keep it on right now because we are working. And let's see here, we have how to invest a thousand dollars. This is a chart, a visual that you can see. And it's been pretty steady. People are searching for this and they have been pretty steadily since about 2008. Um, it right across the board. So it's definitely a good topic. It's pretty strong, uh, something that people continue to search for. Um, down here, you can see some of the keywords that are related to it. Now, this can help you if you are looking to make a video. Um, instead of just saying how to invest $1,000, you might say something how to invest money. More people search for that, but notice the competition is higher. If it's over 50%, it's pretty high. Now, if I just look for what to do with $1,000, it brings everything down significantly. There's people searching for it every month. So you could get into that little niche and get a lot of views from it. So definitely you can see um, all the way down here, all the different terms that you can use for your content. If this is a niche that you're in, let's look up another one, how to play the guitar. Definitely uh, 40,000 searches per month. CPC is $3 and 10 cents. Competition is under the 50. It's at 0.34. 
and it looks like it trended up and then down a little bit but if we look at the bigger chart over here to the right you can see the trend is going down but there's still 60,000 searches so even though it may not be as popular as it was maybe in 2011 there still is a trend and again you can look down here at some of the keywords that you might want to use um, this one how to play the guitar for beginners the CPC is lower and the competition is much lower um, definitely don't want to say how to play the guitar for kids very high competition so you can see the difference just by using different words even though your videos would apply to children or adults take out the word kids there's not as much competition and you might get more views on your video and you're not competing with those channels that have already mastered those keywords and um, you're not competing with them all right let's let's look up another one how to start affiliate marketing I was trying to find something that um, the trend is really high um, how to start affiliate marketing 1600 searches per month CPC is 461 definitely more competitive 0.57 and the trend is going up if you notice from 2015 it's gradually going up more and more people are searching for affiliate marketing I found it interesting um, one of the I went ahead and looked for another term I was trying to find something that you know the trend is going up higher 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 and so what I did is I went over here and I searched for how to make a YouTube video and the reason I searched that was because I thought well with COVID more people are getting on the computer and more people are probably looking um, I did look um, how to make money online but it didn't the trend wasn't real significant so instead I looked at how to make a YouTube video because a lot of people are looking at starting a channel they're stuck inside what else is there to do it's a great way to make money and so definitely look how it spiked um, 2019 this is when COVID hit it spiked significantly so there's definitely a trend definitely something that a lot of people are searching so that's the kind of thing you're looking for is it something that is going up and not down and again it doesn't mean you can't make those videos but you have to um, look at all these different factors here 22,000 searches a month a dollar 84 for CPC which is great and competition is 0.29 so even though there's a higher search volume a higher trend there's still not it's not extremely competitive it's not something that you you know would would want to veer away from and here you go you can look at some of the details over to the right um, let's look at this one here um, how to make YouTube videos on your computer a um, dollar 31 for CPC and 0.17 for the competition and the trend is going up so that's how you use keywords everywhere now I promised you I would tell you what's different what they did about a year ago it used to be free you used to just put it on your computer everybody got to use it as much as they wanted and it was free and about within the last year they added a new rule that you had to buy your uh, purchase credits and here it is here okay so what I did is I just purchased ten dollars at a time because you get a hundred thousand searches so when I go over here and look at one of my searches I can um, I, I pay I use a credit when it first came up but then if I click one of these other searches like how to make a video channel when I click that that's going to use more of my credits and like I told you earlier you also want to make sure you turn it off when you're not using it for work because you don't always have to have this information look at that significant trend on how to make a YouTube channel really made a big difference and again the CPC is not that high a dollar 53 and the competition is low so it's definitely a good area that a small channel would want to look at now what's different what changed this is what changed just about three or four weeks ago I got an email and it said we have changed our policy yes one credit equals one keyword but credits expire after one year so if you pay ten ten dollars for a hundred thousand credits and you're being extremely cautious and using them when a year is up if you have fifty thousand left you use them it, it cleans your board you cannot carry them over if you had already had some if you already bought your ten dollars worth within the last few months they are honoring that and giving you one year from today so as of November 1st 2021 all of those credits that I have left will expire 
or I may end up using them all and getting more. But just be aware that you only have one year to use them. So some people might say, well, I'm going to buy $50 worth. Just make sure whatever it is you buy is what you use. So pay attention to that because that's a lot, $500,000. Um, maybe you just leave your computer on all the time and just let them be used up. That's totally up to you. But I wanted you to make you aware of that change because I know a lot of people like to use this. I think it's an excellent um, tool to use and they did let us use it for free for a very long time. And I'm sure things will continue to change, but excellent value. Um, definitely great information. I highly recommend you use it. No affiliate program. So go ahead and click the link below. Um, go in there and check it out and start using it to help you decide what kind of content you're going to make on your channel. I just made a video. Um, the one I made last week was about how to find your niche and how to use um, a different tool to figure out what you want your channel to be about. Now that you know what your channel is about, now you want to you start using this to help you find that content. This one goes in a little bit deeper um, than the tool that I showed you last week. And I've got that right up top here. Um, you can go ahead and look at that as well. So hopefully this will help you get started. Jump in, just start making those videos and just learn as you go because you're never going to know it all. Don't wait until you know everything because you never will know everything. All right. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next video.